Hi, this is Care from uh, Care's uh, Life's Wisdom and um, Pets and Stuff. Uh, all sorts of pets and stuff. Anyway, I, I'm here talking today about I have trained my cats to use the toilet. The other thing is I have Siamese cats. I'm also a cat breeder. Um, mind you, I'm not selling any more cats, but I have the ones I have. Uh, the, I'm calling, the reason I'm talking to you about this is I found on the web training your cat and they were costing these pet kits to train your cat to use a toilet which cost quite a bit of money and I found I made my own. Um, on one of the sites it talked about using, see these uh, things for um, at the dollar store that you use for roasts? Well the only thing is her suggestion did not work for my cats. The problem is that the damn thing ended up going in the toilet and my cats don't like get their feet wet. I don't know if you're like mine. Mine don't mind swimming in the water when it's warm, but they do not like wet toilet thing. And then she talked about doing stages and stuff like that. Well, that didn't work too well with my cats either. Uh, what I had to do is I had an open linen closet and they would go and hide. I had to lock them in the bathroom because they were starting to find corners in the living room. And if you ever want to stop cats from going into corners and going on the toilet on the floor, I found the weirdest thing is Tide soap. And they wouldn't go where the Tide soap, they told me to use tin foil. <laughs> they just used the tin foil. So anyway, what I did in here is I got this pan, okay? And I cut off, first of all, I tried it with the edges, didn't work. Uh, it just kept popping up the seat. So this is what I did. Okay, I'll just get rid of that. <laughs> so, uh, what I did is to stop it is I, first of all, I used um, a coat hanger, but it was made of steel and it was causing the uh, thing to go rusty. So now I got a coated one and I opened it up a little. Now I found grandma, she's 22 years old and she's blind. <clears throat> uh, she got into the water once and that was the end of that. Uh, so this is what I did. See, I cut off the edges. See here, I cut off the edges. Now, because my cats are trained with paper, I use shredded paper for cat litter because I use it in the garden. And one year, <laughs> I had they'd eaten a lot of tomatoes. And the weirdest thing is I ended up with a whole field of tomatoes and it broke down in six months. Plus, I use a wood stove and I put ashes on top of it which is like lime. So what I did with this is, you can watch this, I put it in here and then see these little hooks? I hook them onto the toilet thing. Now they told me it takes a month to train. Well what I did is originally I had just a little hole, see just here, and I, see I cut it, like, see, like in, in, in from the center out like a pie and cut it and see see eventually I made it bigger and bigger the only thing is that I found with grandma <coughs> she was peeing on the edges so now I don't use that at all but I put shredded paper in the center and then I could flush it because it was newspaper and then gradually they I took away the paper and then I did this now to keep the toilet seat from falling I just used a plastic paper bag, took one of the handles and put it here. Now what I've had to discover with Siamese cats, they're really smart. They discovered they were going to use the bathtub. So now I've got water in the bathtub. because, <laughs> And I keep the water because I found that they started using the bathtub for a toilet. Then grandma got really smart and she started using behind the toilet. So look what I did. I filled it all up with bottles, put this plastic here. In other words, you got to think like a cat. I put this here. The only thing it's hard for me to go to the toilet. And I put stuff around where they corners where they would. Now, to stop them from using my linen closet till they get trained, I actually put uh, a door in front of my linen closet. And I built a little home for them with a light. Now, the best thing is that I found here. I'm just going to show you this is I have a light here. Just a minute. Uh, see, I put inside one of these Stein things for German beer. <laughs> and I put a light bulb inside there. And I checked the temperature. 
it is and this is an old um thing that was on the bottom of my bathtub that got too dirty and i put a newspaper in the bottom of plastic and then put that in there now what i did is see i use see there that is um baby powder and i use pizza boxes now originally i had paper in there and they decided to make it a toilet <laughs> so think like a cat now the reason i use talcum powder is i find that they get their feet wet when they go to the bathroom sometimes and it was getting urine around and since i started putting talcum powder in there and they actually like that grandma kind of likes that now what i did is put that there and you can see they're actually using it now i don't use this anymore i keep it on this side and so you can see the cats have been actually using the toilet which is awesome another trick i do because i'm environmentally sound and i use have a wood stove is i collect all my paper towels i dry them out and i recycle them and then i use them here and then I put them, when I was watching the Olympics from Russia, I discovered they keep their toilet paper in the, in the bag. Well, I like paper towels because I'm a senior and I can wet them and then I can use them again. And I use them for the toilet and I put them in a bag and I use it for starting my toilet. Now, so if anybody wants to know what I'm doing, so now grandma, she uses this now one of these films i'm going to actually show you the cats using it but for now that works for me oh another trick i had to do see i took the top off the toilet thing uh the reason is i did that is because grandma decided that was going to be a new toilet <laughs> so anything that if you don't want a cat to go poo while well, they're lost i found i have to lock them in to the bathroom for about three or four hours i bring their food in here Give them a treat. Give them a warm spot while they're in here. Give them a scratching board. See, I have their scratching board here as well. Make it very comfortable. And I use this um, recyclable thing for Grandma to get up into the toilet. And she actually sits there. And uh, little boy, his aim is awesome. So Grandma's still learning. <coughs> I had to take the, plat the thing off because she was, um, <laughs> she turned around. And she actually peed on the recycle box and pooed in the thing. So she's still learning. But that's what I do to outsmart Siamese cats. Another thing I do, see there? I use, um, you know, that liquid soap. Always get the kind that has got enzymes. And, it, and I put it into this bottle and I recycle that. I'm also into this um, a tea thing. And I'll talk to you about it. another thing, but I, I use um, Comfrey and I use TSP and soda, but I recycle it because Comfrey is really expensive here. So in the meantime, this is what I'm doing. And life is just a journey on the web. This is care. Um, and you can watch my other videos as well. This is for training cats and trying to outsmart Siamese cats, train them in more than one way. Bye.